Hello, welcome back to educator.com. Today we're going to discuss parasites, everybody's most favorite topic, uh, including mine, uh, for various reasons. It's a very essential concept that we're really going to discuss before we talk about protozoa and helminths, because the protozoa and helminths that we will discuss are all parasites. And it's important to get an understanding about the nature of relationships between species, especially the, the relationship called parasitism, so that we can really describe diseases caused by parasites and also think about different ways that we can eradicate parasitic diseases. So parasites are, are, are biologically common uh, sets of relationships that occur in plants, uh, in animals, and in humans. Uh, parasites can live in human hosts and they tend to cause diseases that include protozoan diseases, uh, worm type diseases or helminths, and uh, insect borne diseases. And, you know, if we think about this definition of parasitism, really all of the pathogens that we've talked about in here are essentially parasitic in relationship to the human host. And you'll see just the wide range here of parasites, including insects and worms and these protozoan uh, one-celled organism. And we're going to review many of these organisms in our uh, helminth and also protozoan lectures. So how widespread are these uh, parasitic diseases? And they're, they're very widespread. And it's not they're not just found in the tropics. They're also found in more temperate climates. They're found in the subtropics. And, but most of them truly are localized uh, in the tropics. And the biggest, most prominent example is malaria, which is a parasitic disease. And it's caused by a one-cell protozoan, and that protozoan is carried, of course, by the mosquito. Malaria kills uh, 660,000 individuals uh, annually, and most of them are, in, are among young children in sub-Saharan Africa. But other parasitic diseases include some of the ones that are considered neglected tropical diseases, and these are diseases that were designated as neglected by the WHO, and these are infectious diseases that, while they're very widespread, are not do not receive a lot of uh, research dollars. And some of these diseases that are parasitic diseases include filariasis and guinea worm disease and, uh, you know, a few others. And, and these are diseases that uh, are widespread, in, especially in the subtropics. So we will review some of these when we talk about other parasitic diseases found in worms and also in protozoa. Uh, 